the Gamers Table Independent Edition. We're doing two games today, not just one. Two games in one. Two, two, two games in one. It's Friday, and today we will be reviewing socks. Socks. Not my socks. The they game stink. socks. This game doesn't stink. Socks is a terrific little game. In its essence, it's a uh, set collecting matching game. There's a pattern recognition. Yes, kind of. There's a uh, a group of cards laid up face up on the table. Uh, Twelve of them in this yeah. case, and you basically have to pick three cards. Not like that. that. Make, uh, pairs of socks. Which each card has got anywhere from one to six socks on it. And uh, your three set, your three cards have to have exactly two yellow socks, and two green, and two purple, or any Whatever they may of be. The colors. You are uh, collecting three cards, and you are looking for two pairs, or a pair of socks on each card. So you can collect three cards with four socks, or three socks, whatever. As long as you collect a set, it's worth a point. Um... It's certainly not a game that I'm very strong at. I mean, when we were playing it, I was kind of like staring at it and like, I don't see any sets. And then I wait and Sean be like, oh, set, grab, set, oh, grab. And I'm like, okay. I, I was happy in uh, two of the games we played. I collected two sets, which is two more than I thought I would. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> he's damn good at it, too. He's, very, oh, he's smoked good. us. Chris, on the other hand, just the opposite. Yeah, hey, me too. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, after a while, Sean caught on. It's just like, none of us stood a chance here. Socks is excellent. I am so sticking this in my pocket and taking it home with me. Um, set collection um, with pattern recognition. It's uh, everything that I like about uh, about stuff. Um, but I can just sit down and, and, and quickly scan through 12 cards and figure out that one, that one, and that one make, you know, four pairs of socks. This is cool. Uh, I just find it's a, it's a good uh, mental exercise. Uh, keeps you going, keeps you thinking. You gotta be, you gotta be quick on your feet, so to say. And uh, the fact that Chris can't play it makes it even better. <laughs> so in, in its essence, it's uh, if you're if you're the kind of person who like who can. You know, pattern recognition so. or color recognition. Sean uh, can. You're gonna you're gonna yeah, do really yeah. well at this game. I nice. can't so much. <laughs> no, no, no. Chris not so much. Chris no. might as well be colorblind. He's Pretty much pattern. we're we're all staring at the table. Wait, we're just waiting for Sean to say set. <laughs> <laughs> Sean says set. There, there, there. There we go. Another point for Sean. You so got had, five. We had three more cards, and we go. Oh, set. <laughs> And we and we keep this going. Uh, I did. I ran the table and cleared them all. Every set is worth one point. If you say set and for some reason forget where your cards were or accidentally grab one, or you grow that has you an extra yellow sock and someone else goes, you, ah! you lose a point. Yeah, you, you lose. You don't. You normally don't get that point, but you lose one of the ones you've already got. <laughs> so you do have to be careful. But it is excellent. The theme is you know matching your socks. We all do it. We all hate it. And there's always missing socks. You don't always make the pairs. It's just the way it is. Welcome to the Gamer's Table, Independent Edition. It's Friday, and we're going to review pants. Yeah, pants, as as it is, is just, it's too, too derivative, too much borrowed from, you know, traditional classic card game, you know, rummy. We're not reviewing our pants, we're reviewing Pants the Card Game. Yes. It's... Which is basically uh, rummy, is it not? As we play it anyway, because the rules for pants are incomplete. Or at least that's, you know. I mean, good effort fitting it all in one card, but maybe yeah. you could have. There's a couple lines added missing some there. stuff there to it. Yeah, there's a couple make... little things, like they're drawing back up the hand mm -hmm. maximum, and uh, when do you. Yeah. When, when do you draw cards up? I mean, it says you draw one at the beginning. And then discard and then one of discard. your cards. If you can't make a set, you just draw and discard. You're trying to make, uh, trying to get four different types of pants of a certain suit, s suit or something. So yeah, well yeah, picking up again wrong ones here. Where's the nice one here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. there are different types. This particular type with the red background are adventure pants. You're gonna get khakis, pirate 
pants and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, you want to get four different types. This one is particularly the pirate. You got the peg leg in there. Alright, be the pirate pants. But you want to get four of that adventure type or casual or something like that, classy. But once you lay that those four cards down to make your set, it does not tell you in the rules to draw back up to your full hand size of what was it five? Yeah. So. Um, we just assume that's there's what no way was you can supposed make a to be done. Yeah. There's no way you can make a set with how many cards you've got left over. You need to draw back up to your full hand size. But the rules don't tell you that, yeah. unfortunately. But, but based on its complete, like, you know, very direct similarities to uh, Rummy, yeah. we assumed you, you draw back up to your full hand size in order to be able to play the game. Now, this is another one of the examples of games where the rules are not clear. Essentially, this game is unplayable because the win condition is three sets of pants. And in order to get three sets of pants, you would have to be able to get more cards after you play your first set of pants. And uh, and even if we did play the way... If, yeah, if it's intended that you draw back up to five after you play a set of pants, it becomes a little bit more playable. But at the same time, you have the cards like the suspenders and the gift cards that can essentially make the game go on forever because, hey, I finally got a set. And now this guy over here plays a suspender card and then, okay, I have to either respond with a gift card to cancel that effect or I lose that set of pants. Or say, if he played a gift card on me, he would steal my set of pants. And then you're back to square one. And mm -hmm. Thankfully, there are wild cards, which are underpants, which are, uh, well, I guess, they're, they're necessary. You need them to make the set. Yeah, my son Hunter would like the game just for the underpants, because that's all comic gold when you're that age. It is. So, it's uh, fantastic. It's, hey, it's comic gold for us, too. Yeah, all right. <laughs> 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 Anyways, wrapping right, up. So this is my, oh. my this is one of my favorite games that I've played. Eventually since, wrapping up. Since they started with the uh, independent edition, this is this is awesome. <laughs> awesome socks. Awesome socks. Yes. Awesome socks indeed. <laughs> All right, we are. So wrapping up for socks. I got to give this uh, a very high mark. I'll give it an eight. I just think that's awesome. <laughs> so the, the quality of the cards is excellent. The rules are concise to the point. You know how to play the game. It's yeah, simple. Exactly. It's clear artwork. Everything, yeah. You know, everything that uh, you know, using Craig's three uh, criteria. It has a theme. It's soft, and everyone has to pair their socks. It's perfect. <laughs> if you're playing with someone like Sean, I suggest as soon as he sets Doesn't says set, 10, then? you take an egg timer, flip it, and then everyone else has got a minute to find what he found. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that, would, that would actually be a pretty good handicap. Yeah, exactly. Just, yeah, I found okay, one. there's one out there. <laughs> like, I found, I'll let you, I'll give you guys 30 seconds to find it. <laughs> just, oh, now there's two of them out there. I'll give you another 30 seconds to find both of them. <laughs> I'm going to give it a seven. Yeah, it's a solid game. You know, the artwork's uh, simple, but it works. It's nice, uh, clean, crisp, you know, good rules and everything like that. And solid play, but uh, not something I'd want to see myself playing over and over and over again but uh it is solid and it works i give socks a seven it's not my type of game i just kind of like staring at it it's like uh <laughs> i don't know if there's any sets let's just add more cards <laughs> <laughs> it is a good game though i can't say anything bad about it it's just not really my type of game yeah well there's really not a lot to it i don't know we're real having a lot of fun with it the first time we played it, so maybe I don't know if I'm overreacting or not, but still, I'm, I'm happy with it. Oh, it's a good game. And now for wrapping it up for pants, all I can all I can manage to give this is a three, simply because it does have a theme. It's a, a shopping theme. The, the whole game sticks to it. The cards, are, as produced, are actually really high quality cards. They have a nice, nice, concise background. The cards are, there's no questioning what the cards are. It's clearly, clearly pan. And they're clearly colored. Uh, it's just the game itself. You have to assume too much. Yeah, you have to assume half, half of the critical parts of the game. And it's just too derivative of a classic card game. Yeah. The game comes with the wild card of underpants, which... 
you know, I guess underpants can go with anything. Well, I'm going to give this one a two because, or because the rules are pretty much broken. This, yeah, this is the uh, corduroy bell bottoms of games, I suppose. But yeah, it's just as it's worded, it's not playable past the first set that you put down. And that's not much of a game, so it would get a two. I mean, if if you want to play rummy, play rummy. Save your money. Don't buy pants. I mean, wear pants. Everyone should wear pants or something. And when anybody walking around, hey, a guy from the gamers table said, don't buy pants. All right, you're just stretching those pants a little too far, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it again for another independent episode of the gamers table. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next Friday. So long. Pay attention, Ken. Four in the basic. There could be. Five in the next. There's nine no. types no. of socks. No. no. There's six. six. There's still... Yes. Yes. Look. One, two, three. That's oh. the fucking Oh, wait. One. And one goes in the middle. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and on the, one, on the one was six. <laughs> Edit that no. in. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. That's, no, that's, that's, that's gold. gold. That's no, pure no. gold. <laughs> well, I saw the one in the middle. I thought there was one on either side of that okay, one, too. There's not. Anyway, whatever. Hello. Go ahead. Hey. 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 Oh, nice to see you again. You can't have three socks of a color because that doesn't make you know pairs. That's a that's three. So, um, well, uh, <laughs> I just lost my train of thought there. Well, if you want to make the game more <laughs> challenging, or at least more challenging for Sean, maybe put some of the cards upside down or on the side. There's a set. <laughs> Stop it! For sure. You want to add anything, Craig? No. All right. How about you want to give it a score? No, you guys give it a score. Okay. All right. Just, Curious. Did, there's nothing that you did. He's cover. over there. There's no points. <laughs> yeah, I have to point out the episode because Sean keeps looking at me instead of the camera. <laughs> What's Sean looking at all the time? Sean over there. <laughs> Sean's a <the> new guy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I haven't got this stare at the little box thing down yet. <laughs>